Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I pray that you're having a wonderful day. The Lord is good and worthy to be praised. And listen, blessings, the blessings of God be upon you. The power of the Lord be upon you. The favor of God be upon you, upon your life today, my friends. And uh, I want you to walk in it. I want you to trust God. I want you to stand for him. He's standing for you and he's bringing things to pass on your behalf. Just trust him, believe him and never doubt. And the Lord will bless and keep you real good. Numbers chapter six, beginning at the 22nd verse. And the Lord spake unto Moses saying, speak unto Aaron and his sons saying, on this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel. This is how you're going to bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee, and the Lord keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace." Good God Almighty, this is called the priestly blessing. And verse 27 says, And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. Look at this, my friends. The Lord bless thee. That is, the Lord calls good to come your way. And keep thee. The Lord preserve you. The Lord preserve you. And the Lord preserve us and calls us to enjoy the goodness of God. He says, the Lord maketh his face to shine upon thee. That is the glory of his presence be on your life and be gracious unto thee. Look at this. The Lord lifteth up his countenance. That is God lifts his face toward you. When the Lord looks in your direction and the Lord smiles, my God, I want you to know that that's a blessing. And then the Lord giveth thee peace. That is God calls well-being to take place in your life. I wanted to bless you today. The Lord put this particular blessing on my heart to share with you today. And I want you to grab it. Matter of fact, uh, when, when we go off, when you finish watching, watching this today, I want you to go to uh, Numbers, chapter number six, verse 22 through 27, and read this wonderful priestly blessing and claim it for yourself because the Lord told me to share this with you. Now, I got something to tell you, uh, a particular passage I want to read uh, to you uh, that will g give you some insight on, on me today. The Bible says in Mark's gospel, chapter number six and verse 30, and the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said unto them, now listen to this, come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest for a while. For there were many uh, goings, there were many comings and goings, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. Well, my friends, I want you to know as you're watching this, Brother Wooden is in a desert place, getting a little rest, I'm on vacation with my family. God is good and worthy to be praised. And I pray that this message is blessing you real good. But we will have service here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ tonight. And the word of God is going to be preached with power and authority. Now, I thank you for praying for me and, and covering me and my family as we get a little what I call well-deserved, well-earned rest. And uh, God's blessed me uh, to recover because when we come back, we're going to hit the ground running. In the meantime, the Apostle Paul said to the saints at uh, Philippi, he says, now much more uh, in my absence than in my presence, 
work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So the work of the Lord continues while the servant of the Lord gets a little rest and recuperation. And we will see you, the Lord willing, Sunday. And God's going to bless us real good. Now, I want to invite you to uh, to watch the service. I almost said, join, uh, join me here. Now, I won't be here, but I'll be watching. I'll be resting. But you'll be in place as we serve the God of the Bible. You know, at the upper room, we don't have what we call, Brother Garrett, pastor salvation and pastor religion. And so I can't come unless the pastor's there. And I can't feel the glory unless the pastor's there. And I can't get a word from the Lord unless it's the pastor. No, God has given us a deep bench. I thank God for the men and women of God that the Lord is blessing us, bless us to have at the church uh, who can deliver the word of the Lord. And we will be back in place uh, this coming Sunday. Join me. And the word of God is going to bless us real good. So come tonight to the upper room, Church of God in Christ, for Bible study. Hallelujah. The Bible is going to be preached and you are going to be blessed. And uh, thank you for praying for me and for my family as we enjoy a little rest and recuperation in a desert place. God bless.